Hey guys, this is Steven Slack with Functioning Right. Today we're going to be starting a new series talking about uh, working from the ground up. And basically what it's talking about is how you should be able to master the movements on the ground in laying position, laying flat on the belly, on your back, and then working your way up to kneeling and other things before you start to work into lunging, squatting, and other big movements. So with that said, I'm going to show you a couple of first thing we're going to be doing is laying uh, on your back, supine. This is Cassie right here, she's one of our trainers, also one of the people in the recovery room. You should check that out. Uh, lay on the ground real quick, Cassie. So what I'm having her do here is get used to laying on the back and also start to get used to using her posture in a correct way. So first, before the dead bug, you're laying straight out, legs are straight, in this position, I'm checking to see, and move your head out of the way real quick. If there's a lower back arch here, and I can feel a little bit of an arch here, so I'm going to tell her, squeeze the glute muscle, or that butt muscle, and all of a sudden it goes away a little bit. So you should be able to engage that. Does she, do you feel any lower back tension at all? No. So she doesn't. That means that she's functioning well in this position, and that means I can maybe start to uh, challenge her a little bit. But before that, I want to make sure two things. The glute was tight. Second thing is the rib cage cannot be flared up. So you're going to tuck the abs in a little bit. Rib cage is not flared up. And now I can start to challenge this because she's got this well. She feels it in her glute. She feels it in her abs. She's ready to go. So now lifting up the knees. Hands your eyes. This is called the dead bug position. Hands are up to the sky. And in this position, she still should tuck that glute. Yeah, I don't know. Abs are in. The turkey gizzard, I like to call it, is not flared out, it's, it's tucked in, she's nice and secure, and now I can make her do leg kicks, I can make her do arm reaches, and if she masters that without any difficulty, then I'll sort of take her into half kneeling and things up above there. Other two things that I'm not going to get too much detail about is a laying on your belly. So go to your belly, you should be in this position before you start push-ups and um, any other plank activity, you should be able to, now hit your hands flat, Elbows are up. You should be able to master this position with good, again, glute tight. So you turn the glute on, rib cage down, not flared. And now she's got good activation. Do you feel any lower back in that? Not really. She said no. So that means that now I can start to transition to her to a higher plank position and other things to challenge that before I go into push ups and other things. This is functioning right with Steven Slack. We'll talk next time about the other positions and postures to challenge. Thank you.